Welcome to Routing and Switching Essentials. This is Lab 3.2.1.7 Configuring VLANs. So our lab says let's go ahead and hop on switch 1 and we want to issue the command that will display all VLAN information. So show VLAN what options. Uh, I want to do a brief. That way I can see that all ports are associated with the appropriate VLAN. Right now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All of them seem to be attached to this VLAN 1. So once we've done that, let's go ahead and try pinging from PC1 to PC4. Ping. 132.17.24 Oops, hope if I have number lock on 132.17.10.24 and we get a response what about 2 to 5 132.17.10.24 25. And again, we get a response. I'm going to hop over to PC3. I'm going to ping PC6. 172.18.30.26. And it does work. Can I ping PC1 from here, though? I cannot. I can only ping or communicate with PCs on my VLAN. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hop on back on switch 1. And I want to do some basic configuration. So I'm going to go to my user exec mode. And I'm going to go and go ahead and log into my configure terminal. I want to set up VLAN 10. And I want to name VLAN 10 faculty slash staff. In Packet Tracer these are case sensitive so we do have to keep that in mind. I'm going to navigate to VLAN 20 and I'm going to name that students. I'm going to go to VLAN 30, and I'm going to name VLAN 30 guest or default. Lastly, I'm going to set up VLAN 99, and I'm going to name this one. management and native. So let's go ahead and verify that these are correct. We're going to go back and we're going to do another show uh, VLAN brief. And now we can see 1, 10, 20, 30, and 99. But 10, 20, 30, 99, there are no ports in those VLANs. So we're going to have to make sure that we move ports into those VLANs. But we're going to do the appropriate ports. So let's go ahead and move now that we did that on switch one, let's go ahead and let's go back and let's verify that we're doing it on all of the switches. So VUT, we're going to be setting up VLAN 10. We're going to be calling that one faculty slash staff VLAN 20. We're going to be calling this one students VLAN 30. We're going to call this one guest 
backslash default last we read in 99 we're gonna call this one management and native we're now up over to switch 3 we're gonna do the same thing back at CLI go to user exec mode hop into configure terminal mode set up VLAN 10 name it faculty slash staff VLAN 20 name students VLAN 30 name guest slash default VLAN 99 oh VLAN 99 name management and native so once we've done that we have verified that the VLANs are on all switches let's just show VLAN brief oh brief on all of them to make sure they're all here and they're all good Show VLAN brief. I'm going to do this on all of the switches just to make sure. And here they're all up faculty and staff, faculty and staff, faculty and staff, students, 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 guest default, guest default, guest default, management native, management native, management native. So they are all here. So let's go ahead, I'm going to close them all out. Switch 1 has no VLANs. It's just going to be trunks. So let's go ahead and configure S2 and S3 so that the appropriate PCs are in the appropriate VLAN. Here we're going to program PC1 to uh, FA0-11. FA18 will be for PC2, FA6 will be for PC3. Let's go and hop back into our configure terminal. We want to do our interface FA0 slash 11 first. So switch port mode access. Switch port access VLAN and this port is on VLAN 10. That's it. That's the two commands we need to know. Switch port mode access. Switch, uh, switch port mode access puts the port in access mode. Then switch access VLAN 10 or switch port access VLAN 10 will assign that port to access VLAN and the number 10. I'm going to go to interface FA slash 18, switch port mode access, switch port access, this is VLAN 20. And that's it. Let's do the last PC on this one, which is interface FA 0 slash Six, and we want switch port mode access switch port access VLAN 30 so let's go ahead and let's verify we did this right the show VLAN free. Our lab instructions say 11 for 10, 18 for VLAN 20, and FA06 for VLAN 30, and that is right. Let's go ahead and hop over to switch 3 and do the same thing. We have to go to global configuration mode, navigate to the appropriate interface, 
Switch port mode access. Switch port access VLAN 10. I'm going to go do interface FBACER 18. I'm going to set switch port mode switch port mode access switch port access VLAN 20. I'm going to do the last interface interface FBACER slash 6. I want to put this in switch port mode access switch port access VLAN 30 and just to make sure this is right I'm going to go back to show VLAN brief to make sure that 11, 18, and 6 are in those appropriate VLANs so now that all of these have switch ports, let's try pinging PC1 to PC4. It should no longer work. We set up the access ports, but we never set up the trunks. So the gigabit lines between S1 and S2 are no longer trunks. The uh, lines between S3 and S1, again, are no longer trunks. So this will not function unless we set up our trunks. Thank you.